Welcome to episode 241. I'm Bill Cyrus. This episode, this is this is going to be different. This is going to be very, very different. One of the reasons this is going to be different is because the the, the meaningful idea of this video is maybe you sh maybe you should try something different. And and it's about being brave enough to, to look at your life and look at the things you're doing and asking yourself. Could I be missing something because I always do the same thing? Now, the, a real visual metaphor is if you take the same path to work every single day, you go the same road, the same turn, the same turn, the same road, the same road, the same turn, you're not going to see the new park that, that opened three blocks away because you always are doing it the same way. Now, the, the argument against changing something that works well is the cost involved of taking the other route and what if you go another way and it turns out there's a dead end that you didn't know about because you know the water main broke but it's a question you have to ask yourself are you willing to do things the same way every single time for as long as you do things and you always end up with the same results which is a good thing in some cases if, if you're a surgeon and, and you and you do something the same way and the patient lives, that seems like a good idea. You should you shouldn't be like experimenting with. Well, they all they all try the Black and Decker this time. If you got a way that works, do it. But that's not true for all aspects of life. Years ago, um, years ago, I went to this this restaurant. I used to go about well, you know, once a month or once every two months or so. We'd go to this restaurant in Memphis. And I always pretty much got the same thing. I always got, I always got like, like a New York rib or something like that. Maybe, maybe I would switch it up and get real, you know, really brave and get the, you know, rib by one one time. What if I decided I'm gonna try something different? And, and they had this this sesame encrusted freshwater pan fish. I was like, oh, that sounds pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for fish. It was awesome. And, and ever since then, I've, every time I go to a menu, every time I go to a menu, because, you know, that made sense. Every time I go to a restaurant, I look at the menu and I try to find, hey, do they have, you know, any sort of freshwater panfish? Now, the chef at that restaurant must have just been, like, unbelievable because that fish was unbelievable. If I had not tried it, I would have, I would have not had that literally, um, life-changing experience life-changing in the fact that whenever i go to you know restaurants like that I, I look and see do they have freshwater panfish i mean it didn't like change my entire perspective of myself and who i am and how i interact with the universe but it did change the way i look at menus hence it was life-changing now to, to pull that story back i could have gotten the ribeye or i could have gotten the new york strip because i knew what those were going to be like and I gotta play it safe. But if we go through our whole life playing things safe, then we're always gonna get the safe outcome. But sometimes the safe outcome is also the boring outcome. Now, and I need to mention that I don't think Black & Decker actually makes surgical tools or surgical apparatuses, but it just seemed like you know a, a good example when I, when I was making it. But if you're going for something besides the, the boring outcome, or if, if, if your outcome is, is tolerant of maybe not working out to the best, then maybe you should try something else. Maybe you should try a different road, a different path. Maybe you should try something uh, a little different. And if, if, if you have the opportunity to really push the envelope, to push it out there, may, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it's not. And here's two examples. One is this video. Two examples of me trying to push it out there and try something a little bit different. In this video, I have a, a an inner an inner episodal segment, a new inner episodal segment. Um, a, a couple of students have asked if, if they can be part of this. I got the permission slip signed from the guardians. I've got them on file. I have consent for these two um, young people to appear in the video, and they're going to do. They're going to start today in this episode with the the segment to be named at some point in the future um at this point it the name is kind of up in the air and, and you'll see that in, in the clips i just want to give it a try i don't know how it's going to work i don't know how my viewers are going to respond to it but i learned a lesson a couple uh, last week from from my my second son nathan 
who said, who said, Dad, don't be afraid to do you. And I, I mentioned that in the video, and I've had a lot of encouragement from some of the No Small Creator people to say, yeah, man, do you. Do what you do. Keep doing it. Um, and if it's not what everybody else is doing, then, then that's okay. That's just a thing. It doesn't mean that it's a wrong thing. So I'm trying it. I, I, I've always liked to engage people and, and, and help people find their, their voice. And so that's, that's kind of what this inner episodal segment is. I'm encouraging them to consider maybe starting their own channel. We'll see how it goes over time. They may, they may do that. The second thing, the second thing that I'm trying is, is really pretty different is uh, the fiction project I did for No Small November. And, and that was the world of Ciliar. It, it is now a website, www.ciliar.com. And this is a different way of doing a book series. Because I'm breaking the book series up into small little action sections and scattering them across the timeline so that readers can follow one group of people from start to finish or they can bounce around from person to person as, as time passes. And, and some of the ideas for, for the site include navigating by map rather than by timeline. So a lot of things like that that uh, would make this really different. And the thing is, this is different. But readers are different now, too. People who read are, are not going to the library for a rule and doing what a 56-year-old person would do. Um, most of the avid readers are pulling their smartphone out of their pocket and, and reading there. So I'm trying this. I'm going to give it a try. And if, it, if it's a total failure, then it's not going to be a total failure because at least 10 or 11 people have already signed up for the signed up as members to the site. So, you know, those 10 or 11 people are reading the content that no one else was reading because it was just sitting in, in my Google Drive. Try something different? Maybe. Maybe you should. Maybe you shouldn't. But for me, I wanted to try something different. I want to see what would happen. And, and I don't know what the results are going to be. And that's, the, that's kind of the exciting, anxiety-producing part of trying something different is you don't know what the results are going to be. If you do it the same way every single time, you pretty much know what a New York strip and a baked potato are going to be like when they come to the table. But maybe, just maybe, sesame-encrusted freshwater panfish with a side of garlic mashed potatoes and parsley butter that that might be a little more interesting who knows this is gonna be a really good episode 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 so 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 many you know how many clips i did that i've recorded with no microphone how many way way i did too that many. accidentally recently all right ladies and gentlemen uh thank you for being here in my this episode 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 so 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 i got a very 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 special segment today this is going to be a new feature we're going to try to work this in like once a week and then the name of this segment is uh gnarly charlie's boat lana tana cocana dodana what about just and uh, i don't get to be in the title her, her side uh jacinda's side <laughs> with some lied that's <laughs> so we'll be working on the name we're going to be working on the name of this segment but here it is oh wait oh wait oh wait, wait, wait we start oh uh welcome to uh gnarly charlie's extravaganza bonanza for mana mana totanza fee five bonanza and i'm charlie or as you may know gnarly charlie from the subreddit I worked really hard on that, so thank you guys for using it. So, uh, who are, who are you? I'm Jacinda. <laughs> cool. So, uh, we're gonna... Can we argue about Christmas? Okay, listen. Christmas. I'm sorry. <laughs> am, I not, am I not allowed to bang on the table? Banging, banging is, you know, is excessively loud, but you can bang if you need to. I'm sorry. <laughs> Christmas is good holiday. Rule number one, snow. Who doesn't like snow? Hmm? So first of all, snow is terrible because it's disgusting for one. It's super cold, you get frostbite. Yeah, the roads get bad and then when you crash your car, you have to pay for it because some people don't have good insurance and you can go ice skating and you fall and then you have to go to the hospital and that's expensive too. Like I got my hand ran over by an ice skate 
I didn't go to the hospital, but what if I did? What if I lost all my fingers? Snow is good. I have to shovel. It makes driving me bad. Something other against Christmas. You're a Grinch. Christmas is good because snow is good, and you can make snowmen, you can make snow angels, it looks real nice, uh, cold makes ice, which makes ice skating, uh, that wouldn't even exist if there was no cold, so ice, uh, good colors, the Christmas colors make me happy and are good. This is not how to be true, like, you feeling. have to go like one reason at a time. Yeah, well your opinion is different than mine, and it makes me mad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There is so many songs that you're bound to like one of them. Those are not good reasons. They're all great reasons. Now we're going to talk about Malcolm in <laughs> Malcolm. We're keeping it. We're talking about Malcolm in the Middle, my favorite show ever. I've watched it about three times. She is not, but little does she know, Malcolm is the worst character. Example number one. Uh, one time, Dewey was going to get into the curling class, also known as the smart class. But then, Malcolm sabotaged his test so that he could win the dunk class with all the dumb kids. And it really, it's not how you got fixed in the show, no, that never happens. You just deal with it. So he was in the dunk class for the rest of the show, having to organize people's uh, uh, classes. And Malcolm gets the... He complains about this show every single day, and it's so annoying. He likes sure. Dewey, and he thinks Dewey looks like our friend Sam. Dewey's best character? Also, Francis' best character? And Reese's best character? Also, Dad's best character? Dad's best character. Dad's best character. Dad's best character. My mom's not my favorite. I don't like my mom. Are they friends? I mean, you're just gonna have to watch it. What's going on? You just froze for nothing. <laughs> you just, you just, you just, you just, 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 just. Okay. Um. This has been a good first inter episode. It's on the channel. It's very not been, and uh, will haunt me for the rest of my days. Not been will haunt. There's nothing close to what I said. <laughs> All right, we're we're. This is the end of Gnarly Charlie's Beganza Babanza Fifi Ha! And that's it. <laughs> that's not even what you said the first time. It's gonna be different every time. <laughs> Gnarly Charlie and uh, whatever. Gnarly Charlie, Charlie. And I feel pain in my kidneys. Ha! Jacinda Verinda. Ha! Oh god, just no, the ring. I, I deserve the gnarly because it's one of the only words that rhymes with Charlie. Ha! Adobe Premiere, save us. That's a wrap. All right, that was the special Jacinda and Charlie segment. I, I'm sure you thought that was uh, utterly bizarre because it was utterly bizarre. Thank you for watching that. All right, end of segment. Bye. Well, that's going to bring episode 241 to a close. Hope you enjoyed this um, video. Hope you'll think about doing something a little different. Hope you enjoyed Charlie and Jacinda. Go down in the comment section. Leave them some, some encouragement. Tell them tell them uh, what, what you wanted for a couple of non-licensed. They don't have driver's license yet. I'll just tell you that much about them. They're not old enough to have a driver's license. So you've got to at least applaud their bravery and their, their fortitude for, for sticking their face in the lens and having some fun and trying to share that fun with you as well. Hope you hope you went along and enjoyed that. Um, that's all for this episode. I think I said that already. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, sign up for notifications, leave me a comment, question, suggestion. Leave Charlie and Jacinda a comment, question, suggestion. That is all for this one. I will see you in the next one. Ha!